Yeah. This is one that I really, yeah. I'm just going to say it right out. Don't do it. Don't follow marketing ratios. They're not engineering. They're purely marketing. One AP per 2,500 square foot. Well, maybe on average in that building at that time. It, no, that's not engineering. That's not design. That's just throwing stuff on a map. I even know some vendors who just tell you, oh, yeah, high density is every 2,000 square feet. Uh, low density is every 250 square meters. I, they just have these throw these numbers out. It's the people who are trying to sell you things that tell you that. Don't do it. Use the tools. Use math, like real math, free space loss math, etc., to figure out how to do it. Now, here's an example. I show this example a lot of times, but I, hopefully it'll help you understand. If you were going to design a little doghouse, you go down to your DIY store, you buy some wood and lumber, you might sketch it out on a napkin, and you hammer it together. It's really actually easy. You don't have to have a super design. And I doubt you would do a snow load analysis on that little roof or how much wind it can take on the side or whether or not if the dog bumps into it, it's going to collapse. The size of the screws you need to, to put it together. You just build it. Wi-Fi is a lot like that. When Wi-Fi is small scale, you put an AP in your house. Done. You got a bigger house, you put two. That's very simple at the small scale. But as Wi-Fi scales larger and larger, it gets more and more complex. Like this bigger barn. Instead of dogs, what if we had horses? They're a lot bigger, and so now we need to build the barn bigger. It's still made out of wood, but now we have to deal with wind, snow, rain. How much weight can it hold? What kind of gap is it? And if I exceed a certain size, I have to go from a truss to a glue lamb to a steel frame. Yeah, that's all engineering. Wi-Fi is like that. The larger you get, the more complex it is. And so don't use a ratio, one AP per classroom. Yeah, I know. You can make one AP per classroom work. You can make one AP per 2,000 square feet work. You can make Wi-Fi do anything you want. That's not the hard part. The hard part's making it efficient, and that means using engineering tools.